Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. Team of the week, week three is here, and so is Double XP. I do want to give a shout out to Grant Irving for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, there are a bunch of MLB payout boosters going on today. Check out Underdog Fantasy right now, and you guys can take advantage of one of these boosters. If you don't use this one before 210, another one will show up for you. We'll get in on that, and if you guys use code Zerk right now, you get the payout booster, you get this Jared Goff. 0.5 total yard special and they'll double your first deposit up to $500 until October 4th. And I did also make one NFL pick for Thursday night football today. I will have the rest of my Thursday night football picks up tomorrow afternoon. We're still waiting on a couple of things about like Aaron Jones, Dave Montgomery, all that. We kind of need to see exactly what's going on with those situations. So I will make more picks tomorrow. Check on dog. Use code Zerk. Don't miss out on the payout boosters, the Jared Goff special, and the $500 deposit match. So as you guys can see, Team of the Week is out. We have the 86, Talanoa Hufunga. We have the Andrew back with Return Man because he got that kickoff return TD. Then we have the two champions. Now we do also have LTDs as well. Uh, we have the, hold on, give me a second. I'm thinking, the outside linebacker from the Bucks, Shaquille Barrett, could not think of his name for some reason. Uh, and then the other one that we also have is LTD Keenan Allen. Now, let me know down below if you guys want to see me do a gameplay today, though, with Keenan Allen and Tua. I'm thinking that's the gameplay you guys want to see. But we do have Terrell Bernard, 87 speed, 91 excel, 6'1", 88 hit power, 90 zone. Uh, he does have 79 change direction. That's not great. Uh, he also does have 89 jumping. So, I mean, the card is okay. 65 block shed. You know, I don't think he's worth putting out there. Middle linebacker, Bills fans, sure, go ahead. I'm sure you will. But for those guys that, you know, have like a Cam Chancellor or somebody like that, definitely stick with Cam. Then we have Tua. Now, Tua has the Jameis Winston release. I used Jameis. I was not a fan of the release. I'll tell you that. Was not a fan of the release. But Tua does get Gunslinger, okay? And he's also left-handed. He has 85 speed, 80 excel, 89 throw power, 88 short, 88 medium, 88 deep accuracy. And then on the run, 90 juke move. Okay, I believe he actually gets jukebox, by the way. 88 change direction and 85 break tackle. Does get gunslinger. So his release, I wasn't a big fan of it. He gets gunslinger, though. Uh, so that should help that out quite a bit there. And then the speed-wise is pretty good. To be honest with you guys, he's literally a worse Vic. Like, that's what this Tua card is. Tua is literally... A left-handed, slower, similar accuracies, probably somewhat similar release as well, Michael Vick. Well, that's Tua, but hey, we'll try him out. I know you guys want to see me use him. And then we also do have the LTDs as well. Uh, we come over here and we filter by Team of the Week. By the way, Gridiron Guardians Part 2. That's dropping tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon... Uh, with that, we'll be dropping the game tomorrow morning. Expect to see, you know, kind of all the reveals of the promo. Tonight, we may see, like, a card revealed, so I'll go over that. Uh, but then we also have Shaquille Barrett, guys. He does get edge threat right here with that 90 finesse move. He might be a little bit cheaper. He's got 91 finesse move, 90 block shed. Strength is really low, 85 speed, 84 acceleration. But if he's, like, you know, very, very cheap, I'm talking, like, 380, 390, you know, maybe you scoop him up. And then we have Keenan Allen. I like this card a lot, guys. Uh, the stats in this card are good. 88 speed, 86 excel. After the catch has 89 juke move. I'm glad they really juiced up his juke move. It wasn't that high on his last card. 84 change direction. And then 90 short route running, 90 deep route running, 88 medium route running, you know, 89 catch and traffic. Like this card's good. Six foot two as well. I like the card. And not only that, but also when you take a look at his abilities, he does get slot omatic. He has better cuts and catching on short slot routes. Uh, it's essentially like route technician, which is, you know, better cuts. And then also having like short in and short out. Uh, I don't really think you need it though. You don't really see a lot of like KOs out there. So I don't really think you need that. But he does get slot apprentice or outside apprentice. Uh, I like the slot apprentice on him. So that's what I'm probably going to rock with him on the gameplay. I think this card is going to be really really good i think keenan allen obviously is right up there for one of the best receivers in the game and then we have the new stuff in the store guys we have the weekly kickoff pack which gives you 182 plus week three player and then 180 plus of any week and then we have the champion pack the champion pack gives you 189 overall week three champion uh 186 plus and 182 plus for 50 bucks 
All right. To be honest, it actually doesn't seem like all that bad of value right there because depending on how much these 89 overall champions go for, and I would imagine as well that maybe you could pull like the limiteds out of this here. Uh, so you could potentially get, you know, Tua. You could get maybe Keenan Allen as the LTD. You could get maybe Shaquille Barrett as the LTD. Uh, that's probably going to be at least like 300K, right? So you get like a guaranteed 300K there, 86 overall as well, and 82 not bad uh but then we take a look here at the team of the week packs we do have the week three team of the week packs let's go ahead why does that look different is that is that different the ultimate team coin logo you see that on the bottom right there that looks different to me i'm not sure why somebody please let me know if i'm bugging out with that but as you guys can see the daily objectives they are double xp now so yes you guys can see right here for getting one of them done you get 2000 xp now instead of 1000 for this one you get 4000 instead of two and this one you get 6000 instead of 3000 so guys you get an extra 6000 xp now it is double xp with the daily objectives uh to work towards getting done with these dailies and as you can see right here uh, i am currently working on getting this completely maxed out i'm very very, very close to getting my season two uh, XP collectible. So you only have six days left to get this done. Six days is all, well, really it's seven days essentially here. So on next Wednesday morning, guys, is gonna be the new season two. So you have seven days essentially of getting these dailies done here, which pretty much means that you would get an extra, what? 42,000 XP. So definitely make sure you guys go ahead and take advantage of that. Try to knock out that field pass. Get that done. Be ready for season two. Season two, I'm very, very excited for. I really, really hope uh, that season two is big. You know, I'm hoping that we get some very, very good free cards in season two. Maybe we see like Reduxes or something. See some new promos coming into the game. I think it's going to be really good to see right there. As you get 80 overall, AJ Fnessa. And we get 82 overall, Zaire Franklin as well. Maybe I'll even do a prediction video if you guys want me to on like season two rewards maybe like what we want to see in season two let me know down below what you guys want to see in season two in terms of maybe like free players or potentially like some new stuff that ea might bring into the game i'm definitely excited to see what they've got as 82 overall charles cross yeah these uh team of the week packs not looking so hot so far but we will take a look at the auction house and see exactly what keenan allen's going for uh and also see what everybody else going for as well sam laporta I just want to say this. I showed you guys my picks that I made for Thursday Night Football today. I'm going to have, you know, way more tomorrow. But Sam Laporta, five and a half targets is currently his projection on underdog. I think it's way too low. I think he has like seven or eight targets. Just saying, I fully expect that one tomorrow to be like six, maybe six and a half they'll bump it up to. Uh, so if you want to take advantage of that one, hop in right now and do it because I don't see why it's that low. Three more packs remaining though with these Team of the Weeks. We haven't got a single good pull. I mean, we literally have not even gotten like 86 overall, just 80s, 81s, and 82s. And this is 700,000 coins right here. Not going good. We get 80 overall, Zach Moss, 81 Tyson Anderson. Final team of the week pack. This was uh, 10, 10 packs here, boys. 10 packs. Not great. There we go. 86 overall, Andrew back. All right, at least we got 186 for that. That doesn't make up for everything. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look here at the new Team of the Week card. Someone actually just tweeted me, by the way, with them opening up that $50 offer. They got two Shaquille Barretts. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff right there. That is definitely some Zerk luck. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look. How much is Tua currently going for? Remember, everything just came out. Tua's already down to 519. So already down to 519, just came out for Tua. Uh, the other set here that we have is the middle linebacker for the Bills. He's under 400K. Kind of had to expect that one right there. Keenan Allen, though, might be... Let's see. What's Keenan going for right now? Uh, currently, wow. 900K. All right. So Keenan Allen not really getting pulled too much. As for Shaquille Barrett, already down to 546. As I mentioned, I think he's going to be like a rental price, to be honest with you guys. Would not be surprised at all to see Shaquille Barrett kind of fall around 420 430k 400,000 coins maybe even and I mean around that if you guys don't already have Lawrence Taylor if you don't already have you know Demarcus Ware you don't have uh the free Micah Parsons definitely not a bad idea to scoop up Shaquille Barrett if he does get that cheap hold on to him because it's only a 50,000 coin rental at any time you quick sell him for 350,000 coins so you're not really losing all that much so hopefully you guys enjoy the video drop a like on it hit that sub button down below I will be doing a gameplay over on Xerxes 2 today sub over there that's where all my gameplays are also follow me over on Twitter I will be doing that mlb payout booster pick them uh special today and as well we may have some gridiron guardians part two revealed
hopefully uh hopefully something pretty nice hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time if you guys enjoyed this video check out these